Four has learned that over the recent Labor Day weekend, when he was in New York for fundraisers and to attend the wedding of his chef, President Obama's request to play golf at several denied. Apparently, some New York movers and shakers would not alter their golf plans for the president. Here's News Force Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deanst. Wingfoot in Westchester is considered one of the elite courses. Trump National is another. Willow Ridge, solid as well. Yet when President Obama's advance team asked if the president could play 18 holes at these courses when he was in town, all said no. Political analyst Dan Gerstein. I think he's lost um, that star quality that he had, uh, particularly in the first two years of his uh, tenure in office. But it wasn't the poll numbers, it was the dollar signs. Membership at some of these clubs costs well over $100,000. Sports anchor Bruce Beck spoke with several golf club executives. They explained to him that on Labor Day weekend, tea times are important for their rich members. It's probably the most important weekend of the year for golf, and 240 members are not going to say, hey, let the president come out. I'm not going to play this weekend. There's no way that would ever happen. Of the numerous clubs we contacted, one executive at the Fairview Country Club in Greenwich tells us they would have accommodated the president that Saturday morning if he wanted to play. The president, who was in town for fundraising that Friday and to attend a wedding Saturday evening, returned to the White House instead of the original plan to stay overnight in Westchester. The White House spokesman explained the change that Friday. Decided that he'd rather just make the late evening flight back here home to the White House. He could sleep in his own bed, uh, do a little work tomorrow, spend some time with his family, and then travel uh, back, to, uh, back to New York tomorrow evening. The White House today declined comment. Some club officials say President Obama is not the first president they turned down. And this past week, we're told, he wasn't the only head of state facing rejection. We're told representatives for the King of Morocco also tried and failed to secure a tea time at some courses. News for New York.